go and pick up the damn coffee. coffee. <laughs> it's not that serious. So girls were wearing like peplum tops with pencil skirts to the club. Why did I bring grandma on my interview? <laughs> I printed out like five resumes. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to Dorm Room 101. I am your girl, Maya Nicole. And my special guest over here was this diamond, Sincia. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I mean, so as you know, today we're going to be talking in a little chat or whatever. So my, my first question to you. Oh, God. No, don't, don't do that. Do not do that. My <laughs> first question is, what is the weirdest fashion trend? When you were in college, the weirdest. Yes, like were you like? Oh I would my never god! Do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you start laughing. You're like, there were a lot of things that I was like, yeah, no. Um, what would you not but, wear? Ooh, okay. But this one, this one is one that I did do, but not okay. So I need that picture. <laughs> so no. So girls were wearing like peplum tops with pencil skirts to the club, and like for me, what? I. <laughs> to me, that was like no, seriously, and and the the only reason why I had clothes like that was because like if you wanted to join any organization on yeah. campus, like you had to go in business casual, casual or something yeah. like that. So you had to like wear it to like the Black Student Union uh, like organization, uh, organization yeah. meetings and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I had to have things like that. But seeing girls like that in the club, Club, peplums, <laughs> and then there were these heels. I had them too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, it was, she was a heels. part of the, the weird uh, fashion trends. It was trends. very weird and like, oh God, it was it what was did bad. You have? What it was it? bad, and my pair were red, and I could see it. And I had the peplum top and the skirt on in the picture. Please send me that wow. picture because if I, I could find it, that's using terrible. Using that picture, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Rihanna was really big then, yeah. So like, people were Showing doing that age. bright. <laughs> <laughs> people were doing that bright like lavender purple lipstick. Oh. I can't remember what it was called. The red version was like Ruby Roo, Ruby, Ruby, yeah. Ruby Roo or something like that. And so like, okay. But that was before people knew that you had to put eye I, I mean, lip, lip liner, liner on it. Yeah. It is disgusting. Like, throw it away. And then. <laughs> throw I it away. I can't believe that I'm saying this because these are all things that I like, I kind of tried. Of course you did. Um, Remember the Valencia. Uh, no, you didn't. Filter on Instagram. Instagram? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> You that had us in a chokehold. That had us in a chokehold. I'm trying to think. To the T. Something yeah. that I didn't do. Yeah. What's something that you didn't do that you literally, because it seems like everything you at least hopped on at least once. Yeah. That you were like, and like oh, everybody was trying. doing it. I'm trying to think of like. Like, what, what, I feel like you I fashion wise, do? yeah. What did you didn't do? No, fashion wise, I'm very the same that I was then. Like, I would wear sweats and a t shirt. I don't care. <laughs> like, we're not doing this. We're um, not doing this. I'm weak. Something that girls were doing. Back then, there's nothing uh, that you like, you'd never even try. Like, you were like, oh, the shave in the side of the head thing. That was big when I was in oh. college. And so, girls were doing that. A lot of them were trying to cover up the fact that like, they were yeah. transitioning from, oh, like, okay. you know, weaves to natural hair. So, a lot of girls were doing that. But yeah. no, you couldn't catch that. Mm -mm, my mm -hmm. head looks crazy. <laughs> no, it wasn't happening. I'm trying to, I think that was it. Really? That okay. was like crazy. Yeah. That you was before did. the color in the hair, the different yeah. colors. Yeah, I remember that. Pink and red, freaking. A, a few red. people had like green hair when I was in high, uh, college, Ooh. high school. Whoa. <laughs> that's Whoa. Uh, um, that's no. yeah, but that's about it that I could think of. I feel like okay. people are gonna like say, "What about this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's crazy. That's but, crazy." Okay, so what? Obviously, you went to college. Clearly, um, she is a Saint John's alumna. Is it alumna? Alum alumni? Al no, alumni is alum. 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 Yeah, she's alum. Don't use that. <laughs> <laughs> what was your um college experience like? You know, just like a general overview of that that time okay. that that time in your life. So the year was twenty twelve. No, okay. So <laughs> overview. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm from Brooklyn, and yes. I decided to stay to stay local, but mm -hmm. I still lived on campus. So okay. I went to St. John's in Queens. It was great, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the pause, the dramatic pause. It was pause. great, okay? Because I was able to live my life, yeah. but then I had my car. I could come home whenever I wanted. Yeah. Um, my grandmother would make Sunday dinner, and somebody would drop it off to me. Ooh. Yeah, no. Like, she stayed local, but <laughs> with purpose, honey, okay? <laughs> it was amazing. Like, I had with my purpose. friends. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and I had a lot of different friends. Like, I, oh my, my okay, your the social circle person. wasn't big. No, the circle wasn't big because I don't like people. Like, I'm but social you're with social. the people that I yeah, like. You are social. Like, going up to Diamond, y'all, y'all, hey! I'd be like, oh, <laughs> hey, boo. Like, she's, she's social. But I don't do that with people that I don't know. I have to know you. Yeah. Or it has to be like some type of like third person. person? Like, if okay. you were to be like, oh, this is my friend, I'm going to be excited. Because yeah. Whatever. But so, like, on campus, I'm trying to think of what my freshman year was like. Um, it As was you can fun. see, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Ten <laughs> years ago, baby. Um, it was fun. No, almost eleven. That's crazy. Anyway, Damn. it was so much fun because I had my um sweet mates. We had like an apartment. You oh know? wow, your yeah, freshman I, year. Yeah, no, it was like oh snap. St. John's dorms were like that. Like there oh, were wow, other dorms okay. that were just like one room communal bathroom. Never. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're not doing that. Um, but like, it was me. My, I got really lucky with the people that I was in a suite yeah. with. All of them were cool, but everyone was so different. Yeah, like I had an Asian roommate, a Dominican roommate, oh wow, Mexican roommate, Black Eritrean, oh, French roommate who was like, well, she was Haitian, but like she yeah like, was yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, yeah. But like, yeah, it was great. And then I started making friends outside, like literally down the hall was like all black girls. Oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, yeah. this is it. And I was like hanging out with them because they were real cool. Yeah. And like one of them is like one of my best friends to this day. So Aww. I'm like, yeah. Is that where you um, met? Um, what is her name? Ooh, the fact I don't remember her name. Not, um, um. What is her name? Desiree? Yes, Desiree? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Desiree is my line sister. Okay. Though. So that was like, that experience came a little later. Um, so who did you meet down the hall? My friend Chelsea. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then Chelsea, we <laughs> went to see Beyonce together our freshman year. It was the best experience <laughs> of my life. Yay, Beyonce. <laughs> and then um, a few weeks before we mm-hmm. came back for our sophomore year, because we were like, oh, we're going to be roommates, Mates, whatever. Yeah. She got a job on campus oh. at like this... Um, not necessarily a TV station. They called it the TV Center, but it was okay, like yeah. it was the resource for like film students and okay. stuff. And she was like, "You should try to get a job there." And I was like, mm. "Okay." <laughs> I was just like, "All right, whatever." Because she was moving in early, so yeah. I was like, "Oh, I want to move in early with you. Like, yeah. we're gonna be on campus in Why the dorm. Not? Nobody else is there. Flags. Like, whatever." Um. I applied and they asked me to come in for an interview. You're about to die. Why did I bring Grandma on my interview? <laughs> What? I took my grandmother on the interview. What? Yeah. And it got me the job. It was crazy. They loved it. They were like, oh, you care. I was like, yeah, I can leave my grandmother alone. Yeah, it was great. Anyway. And so I'm we worked together and we we met a whole bunch of people that mm-hmm. were like film students and stuff. Okay. So that introduced me to a new group of people. Then I joined the TV club because I knew all the people. Yeah. You know. Well. Um, of course, I had joined the radio club already. Mm-hmm. That was a different experience. Um, and then what happened after that? Then I crossed <laughs> Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So it opened it me um, okay. up to like yeah, different, a whole new experience yeah. of like all oh, my line sisters and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm trying to think, what else? I'm weak. Mm-hmm. This is what it else? Was a great experience. She had a great experience at St. John's. So if so y'all are fun. high St. John's school students and are in New York and looking for a good school to go to and it's local, it's Seems like St. John's is a place to go. Yes, very expensive. Get a scholarship. <laughs> do, yes. do do the work. Yes, do the work, please, because baby, October is around the corner and the student <laughs> loans is coming back. Okay, and I don't have no time for no, it. For but real. mine starts in November. I'm not excited. But um, when it came to, first of all, what what was your major like going into school? Like, what did you graduate um, with? Funny thing is, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> you don't know what was, your degree is in. <laughs> it was. Um, Communications Period. with a concentration okay. in broadcast journalism, okay. and then I had a double minor. Ooh. Um, <laughs> uh, double minor, business management and finance, and then the other one was dang, ugh, the other one was something else. So you was just stacking oh i was stacking it up honey Damn. i was stacking it up okay they wasn't playing with me i was in my little um <laughs> what is it my counselor's office oh. twice a semester what else can we do um i can't remember 
But it's communication, well, my other minor right? Ones. Yes. Communication. <clears throat> and I didn't good. want it to be super broad. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, I knew I wanted to work in radio. So okay. I was like, I'm, it lets me yeah, easier I can, on myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw that yeah. for sure. Baby girl did what she had to do. So did you do any, like, internships to get, oh, yeah. like, af- obviously after college, but, like, did like when did you st- actually when did you start doing internships? That's what I'm wondering. I got my first internship. Off no. No, second semester of freshman year. Um, what? but it was like through a woman okay. who I used she used to own the dance school that okay. I used to go to. to. Okay, and she I don't know how like I don't remember. Oh what gosh. happened and like what caused me to even reach out to her or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I saw her somewhere and I brought up like, yeah, I want to do this and the third. Yeah. But she was like, oh, I'm looking for an intern if you want to work with me. And I was like, duh. Oh my God. Um, because she yeah. knew a lot of people and she, I'm trying to think. And she, um, she was very connected. Mm. But she also was very accessible to me. And like she needed yeah. help with stuff. And I was like, uh, I could do whatever. Yeah, I'm like right um, there. Yeah. And then it worked out because she was able to write a recommendation letter for oh, me wow. for a lot of things that I needed and stuff like that. Like a lot of people needed that. Yeah. Um, and then after I worked for her, I worked for her maybe like a full year. Oh, okay. Thanks. So you stayed for a while, like yeah. a while. And I was not getting paid. Let's make that very clear. Because interns nowadays be like, oh, where's my check? check it was yeah. like, it, no. I had to pay. There was no stipend either. Yeah. I had to pay for my own, like, uh, Metro card and my own food and stuff like that. But the things that she taught me were, like, in the like, Yeah. Um, so I did that. And then sophomore year. Dang. I don't remember if I... Girl, I didn't have an internship that semester, that uh, the first semester of sophomore, sophomore year, year, because that's when I um, joined AKA. Okay. Um, but this was this random day. So, okay. The story time. Yeah, no, this is big. Because <laughs> I don't tell this story a lot. Okay. No, so, I'm because I probably never heard of it. Probably not. So, Angie Martinez had just left Hot 97. Mm, okay. I said already, I was obsessed with radio. I wanted to work in radio. I just didn't know how to get to a radio station. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what the process was, whatever. I had heard that internships, you needed a certain amount of credits. And I was yeah. like, I don't have them yet, but, like, I need to start, like, talking to people, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, she had just left Hot 97 and she was she started at Power 105 mm-hmm. and like yeah. her first appearance was at Burlington Coat Factory at Gateway Mall. Oh wow. Right? So I heard it on air yeah. and I was like, I'm going. It's right there. Right there, yeah. So <laughs> I called my friend Ayana and I'm like, hey, Ayana lived over there at the time. Yeah. And I was like, come with me. Yeah. Like, whatever. I printed out like five resumes. Oh I my went gosh. there. I waited on the line to take a picture with her. And I oh. get up to her, and she's like, hi, um, it's so nice to meet you. I'm shaking, because, like, <laughs> she is yeah, an I, icon. And, like, at that point, my idol. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. So I was like, hi, I, yeah. it's really nice to meet you. She's like, let's take a picture. I was like, no, I don't really care about a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really I give like, a shit no, about a picture. I was like, I don't, I don't need a picture. Um, I'm here because I really want to work for you. Wow. And she was like okay, and what can you do? And I started listing out things that I'd done already. And like, if you need ca- camera work, I work for uh, oh, St. Wow. John's TV Center yeah. and I know how to work a camera and yeah. like, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, okay, um, okay. Yeah. Let, let Here, here's my, I don't know if she said like, I'm going to point you to somebody mm-hmm. and you could write down your information. And I was like, oh no, I have my resume. How many Ooh. do you want? Like, whatever. And so she was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, she looked at me like, girl, okay. are you crazy? Um, and so I give her the resume. Yeah. I'm, like, dying. Ayana's looking at me like she's about to die, too. Because I'm, I'm like, oh, oh my god. So time goes by. I'm like, damn, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Like, oh, that fuck, feeling of, like, what like, am ugh. I going to do? Yeah. I was talking to Desiree about mm-hmm. it. And she was like, oh, well, you know, this guy Terrell, like a guy yeah. that we both knew, he's interning at iHeart and like, oh, wow. you know, he works in the promotions department, but like- He's still there, You yeah. can like ask him to refer you. And I was like, duh. So Terrell refers me. <laughs> I get an internship 
in the promotions department, okay. which is on a completely different floor, but you still go up to the actual radio, radio stations station. and okay. like, do things, right? So wow. one day I go up there and I had to go into the studio where Angie was while she was oh, working. Wow. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, she's going to look at me like I'm this crazy girl. I walk in and she's like, I remember you. Huh. Like she yeah. looks at me like, huh. And so I was like, hi, I'm Diamond. Yeah. I'm the promotions intern. I'm just here to grab this, whatever. And she goes, we met before. Yeah. And I was like, dang. Yeah. You know, and she was like, you got to like, play it off like, hi. She was like, is that why you're here? Like, yeah. Did, whatever. And I was like, no, but it's fine. Like, yeah. whatever. And she goes, no, wait outside. Ooh. And so I'm standing crazy. outside. And that I'm just like, gave me the chills. Like, girl. I would have been like, oh. I felt like I was going to shit myself. <laughs> so I'm like sitting. I'm like, oh, my God. So she had her producer at the time, who I met through Devon. Oh, wow. My cousin, her brother. Yay. Um, <laughs> yay. Just like randomly. Yeah. And he had said something about like, oh, yeah, I'll like, yeah, I could yeah. do something for you or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like Devon had he had set those expectations. Yeah. Like, Girl, don't worry about it. Yeah. It don't get too excited. But so he was like, I'm going to take you to the back. He yeah. took me to the back to like the supervisor of mm -hmm. like interns or whatever. I have a conversation with her and she's like, okay, I'll keep you in mind. Whatever. Yeah. That semester ends. I joined this um, organization called Ween, Women in Entertainment okay. Network. Y'all had Network. some good freaking clubs. Yeah, I know. It's not. Well, this was like, it wasn't even citywide. It was wow. like. It was just like at St. John's? No. It was like, no, it had nothing to do with St. John's. Oh, wow. It was like an organization at the time for young women mm -hmm. of color who yeah. wanted to work in entertainment. Dude, and you had to like. It I wonder was, if it still exists. No, I'm definitely, it doesn't. It, doesn't. It, it was. It was a moment. Mm, it was, was a, a process, moment. and it was. We could talk about that another time. Yeah. It was so beneficial to me. Yeah. Um, and it was great because on the last day, so it was like a month long intensive program. Where yeah. You like learned and met so many people, or whatever. Yeah. And at the end, like the very last day, I met a woman named Natina who works for Def Jam, and she goes, um, she at the time, yeah in radio promotion she still is i can't remember the her exact title at mm -hmm. the time but now she's like vp of um shout out to radio her promotion, wow right? urban radio promotion i think um That's lit. and so we have a conversation mm -hmm. and i was just like yeah i really want to work in radio um, yeah i interned in the promotions department hopefully i'll be able to intern for power because at yeah. that point i really wanted to just work for angie yeah so i was like oh i'll go into you know I'll, uh, hopefully i'll be able to work there mm -hmm. and she goes Okay, um, I'm going there today, right? What? She goes, I'm going there today. <laughs> this is it's crazy, what the right? Heck? So she goes, I'm going there today. Um, I'll talk to somebody, right? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot make this up. And you Natina, cannot make this shout up, out to you forever, girl. Okay, <laughs> um, because literally the next day I got an email like, hey, from Kara, who ended up being like not only my supervisor as an intern, but like she's now my supervisor now. Oh, wow. Um, and she emailed and was like, hey, um, we want to invite you in for an interview. Uh, okay. That's and it was wild. like, she was like, oh, can you come in on Thursday? And I think that was a Monday. I'm yeah. like, yeah. So I'll be there. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, and so I ended up getting that internship. That was one semester mm -hmm. I learned from not only Angie, but a woman named Honey German, who at the wow. time was like Angie's digital coordinator, okay. but was just like, or is this like digital powerhouse. Like yeah. she's just like, any digital questions you she have, has the yeah. answer to. Oh, wow. She's just like a resource and just like, I mean, um, like- Words can't like describe, describe yeah. her genius and how amazing she is and just whatever I can't. Look, and then cheesy. I know I love her. Um, and I also met uh, G Spin, who was at the time Power's music director. Yeah. And now he works for Sirius. Um, but G Spin was like the work dad that I needed. <laughs> like he was cool and he yeah. would joke around but when you weren't on your shit he was yeah. like oh, pull it together hello yeah get it together um and he is the reason why i wanted to work in programming and not be on air, air. like okay 
he just had all the answers. He was just so cool. <laughs> I'm like, G, like you are the man. So the three of them, yeah. Kara, G, and Honey, really like helped, yeah. Took me under the, the wing, wing at a like each at a different time. And yeah. it was really cool. And it's like three different experiences like that you yes. had with them. It's not like it's all like, of them. Oh the same. my god, I love you guys so yeah, much. You, yeah. I think I interned for them for a solid year. Okay. And then I ended up, Kara helped me basically yeah. uh, land a job at iHeart full right. time right after I graduated. And we're skipping over parts, but it's, it's okay. fine. Yeah, um, listen, it's a long story. This is a lot. It, this is a yeah. lot. But it's just crazy how like so many things worked in my favor to the point yeah. where I can't tell you exactly what landed me a job, job yeah. or the internship that I wanted. There were so many different pieces and so many people helped out in different ways. ways and it's yeah. just like, wow, very appreciative. So, like, when it came, I'm, like, actually very intrigued because for me, not trying to say, like, I just, I, I don't know. Obviously, college was very, I didn't, it's not that I didn't care, but it was more so, like, I was just really just trying to figure out what I wanted to do or who I was or whatever the case may be. And mm -hmm. it was many things that I was good at. And for me, I got an internship that was not even close to in my field, but it was my minor, which is criminal justice. Um, great internship. I don't even know if I could, like say what it was but it was a great internship and genuinely that's the only internship I did and that was my, my sophomore year I didn't do no like internship in my department which is communication PR mm -hmm. and my thing is or basically what I'm going to ask is like what would you say like when should you start doing internships because for us we don't do them in North Carolina at least like I don't think we could do internship until our sophomore year mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like when should you even start looking it's very tricky because yeah. back then, <laughs> 10 years ago, um, you could intern yeah. somewhere for credit, right? Yes. Quote, unquote, credit. And, like, you know, as long as your supervisor, whoever that mm -hmm. was, spoke to... The department. Yeah, person. somebody yeah, yeah. in your department, they would approve it if it made sense, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now, you have to get paid. Yeah. Like, you could literally sue. People have sued because they weren't paid, paid. for things. Yeah. So it's harder because number one, you have to have a minimum amount of credits, right? Yeah. So it's like, I think it's like 30 or something, like yeah. 15 and 15, I think. Yeah, my, um, yeah, I think it is 30 because that's what I have had to, to do. You have to practically be a sophomore, sophomore right? Yeah. And then you have to find, especially in New York, mm -hmm. the people move to New York for semesters just yeah. to get an internship, internship. But especially in like media and yeah. like music entertainment it's so hard my thing would be to get in as early as possible yeah like we just um put out something saying that we needed interns for this summer right i hate y'all and somebody reached out and was like hey i know someone who is in high school who yeah. really wants to work in media um she's great like if mm -hmm. this was someone like that I'd get advice from yeah. in, in radio and stuff. She's like, she's great. Um, but what are the stipulations? And like, can she even apply? Hi. And I'm like, she can. Like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. they go hard about it now. Yeah. Um, that is very true. So honestly, we're being for real, for real. <laughs> I would, especially if it's like, you want to work in TV or mm -hmm. radio or in this, like now people are calling podcasting radio, radio you know radio podcasting yeah. that's crazy to me but let's be real respect your elders um <laughs> <laughs> i take that very seriously but whatever um to the t yeah uh but like go to a local podcast mm -hmm. studio and see if they need help with stuff and yeah. like understand that you there is a huge possibility you will not get paid, paid yeah but if you want to learn something yeah then you could slide in and like if I wouldn't have worked at the TV center and there were radio classes yeah. that St. John's gave. So I was able to work those radio, radio. classes. I was able to like put that on yeah. my resume. But like, if I didn't have that, I don't know where I would have started. Cause what I was doing with the woman, mm -hmm. um, was like PR stuff. Yeah. And so it was like, I'm, I'm helping you with stuff, but like, this isn't like, it's not radio, yeah, but I just wanted I to say do. that I had an internship. Before. Yeah. So it kind of, is hard. Um, I would apply everywhere. See, and that's, that's the thing for me. It was like, I didn't know where to apply because obviously being in North Carolina, it's radio is not, I think there is an iHeart out there. There is, there is, uh, yeah, there is, there is definitely, okay. And here's another thing. Um, 
that I think. Uh, I we, feel like I we, feel like you're gonna honest? be like know your company or something. No, 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 no. Do, do, <laughs> we can be real. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Sit up. And this is and this <laughs> is advice. Yeah. Um. And this is what I think a lot of people aren't talking to the quote unquote younger generation about. Yeah. Do you know how many people? work in music, media, entertainment as a whole, and started out in radio. Yeah. Right? Being an intern at a radio station has opened people, opened doors for people, people in ways yeah. that, like, people, there's so many people in radio, they don't even talk about Talk it about anymore. it, yeah. But from the people that I've seen, that I've mm-hmm. personally worked with as interns in all of these different departments yeah. who are now, like, doing things, like, Working on movie sets and like acting and whatever, singers, rapper, yeah. like it's insane. But like, I think that people discount radio. Really? And like, that is a way for you to get your foot in the door yeah. at the very least. So, like, I guess, biggest question. Oh God. This is basically, I feel like this is really for me because, like, obviously, I'm still like just recently getting out of college and stuff like that. Like, I'm obviously still trying to figure out my life. Um, but you're doing great, by the yes, way. Yes, I'm doing okay. a, a good job. Um, mm-hmm. But I feel like when it comes to internships, I here's my th- I don't mind not being paid. I feel like mm-hmm. we come out of college expecting this dream job mm-hmm. that, let's be honest, is not going to happen. Well, um, not probably not when not you all want the time. it to. But like, yeah, go ahead. Not all the time. But what? Where do I go from there? Like, if I'm coming out of college or whatever, and I'm like, okay, I'm applying for all these jobs and, like, trying to figure out where I want to go, what's the best thing? Obviously, you just went to Angie. Like, you literally just went Mm -hmm. to Angie and met her. So, like, what do I do? Like, if I can't get anybody via email, via phone, Mm -hmm. do I just pull up? Like, (laughs) So, okay. The thing about it, I wouldn't appreciate someone pulling up on me. Mm -hmm. Like, now that I'm, like, actually working and doing things and, like, have seen... Because there are so many crazy people. Not crazy. There are so many people who are not well. Yeah. um, Who pull up on these people every day. Yeah. Right? And so the amount of effort sometimes that it takes Mm -hmm. for them to decipher whether you are mentally sound or not is... It takes a lot of time, and these people don't have a lot of time, right? So, like, it could work. Thankfully, it worked for me. It may not work for everyone. Um, I want to make that clear. What should you do? I'm not going to lie to you. (laughs) These days... It's hard. It's so different. It's hard, but you have such good access to, like, making your own lane. That's crazy. Like, you could do this, right? Yeah. You could use... Instagram and TikTok yeah. to your advantage and not just be a content creator who wants mm-hmm. to show outfits all day. Like do things yeah. that will get people locked in and yeah. like yeah, if you're cute in, in an outfit. You know. Stolen track hawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um <laughs> but like do something that like the man on the street things are so good because yeah. they show your personality, but you're also showing that you could like talk yeah, to anybody talk and like yeah. you can edit things on your own and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I feel like it's so much easier to do shit mm-hmm. on your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is very um, true. But also network. You get your foot in the door. You get invited somewhere. Mm-hmm. Network with people. Don't be annoying though. Like yeah. get your elevator pitch ready. Like I know the times have changed, but the, but an elevator pitch, pitch yeah. will never go out of style. Thirty seconds. Be able to tell somebody what you do, who you are, who you are. Yeah, who you yeah. are first. What you do. I don't necessarily know if I would want to hear what you want to do. do. Yeah, but like, what could you do for that person? person yeah. Um. And it is also, true. don't be afraid to like you gotta research. Yeah, you have to do your research. If you're gonna, if you're gonna work for a company or you're gonna do something, you can't go into that interview and not know jack crap about what they're looking for, what they're offering, like at all. You can't, you can't sit there and be like, oh, I just, I just kind of want to work here. I'm gonna look at you like you're absolutely crazy. I'm be like, you know how many? Like I said, we just went through our internship process of like Mm -hmm. hiring interns. You know how many interns applied, and when. We sat down on the Zoom to talk yeah, to, to talk. them. 
They never watch the show that I work for. They don't, I mean, well, listen to the listen, show. Yeah. They d- didn't even do a quick Instagram check, a Google. Wow. I'm like, how do you expect Spect, me to yeah. take you seriously if you didn't even do your part? Sick. Yeah, that is true. So, so you know, our our ending is what is three, three advice or two, three. I don't want to give it. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, well, damn. <laughs> What's three, three like advice you would give to anybody really that is looking for internships Mm -hmm. and what in a sense like what do you think they should do like advice wise one don't be afraid to be rejected oof yo that Um, rejection is critical that email is sick sometimes you get it at like 11 45 at night and you're like why would you ruin my night night, yo i'm not even gonna lie that is terrible Mm. (laughs) i've been there I have never done that. Got applied, the t-shirt. Mm. I applied for twenty. Real quick, I applied for twenty-seven jobs in the sports industry, twenty-seven, and I finally got a yes. Like I'm sorry, it's 20, sad, but it's, it's the truth. It's so like it happens. It, it hurts. Yeah. Like I'm. A, it freaking hurts. But it's like you get that yes, and it makes you. It humbles yourself. I'm not gonna lie, because now mm-hmm. I'm finna. I'm finna cut up. I'm mm-hmm. finna work so hard and do everything that I have to do. But like those rejections, they gonna hit. They are, but they you do. just got it. You, you got gotta, 27 rejections le- letters, yes. emails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I used to be the type of person that would go on like a company's website and apply for every job that mm-hmm. I thought that I could get. And so like, it would be like 10 different companies and 10 different like positions within yep. those companies. Like looking stupid. Like, well, feeling stupid. Cause you don't look stupid. Everybody has to yeah. go through that. Right. But like, you mean to tell me you don't want somebody to work for free? free? Are you fu- are you kidding yeah. me? Excuse me. Um, okay, so number one, don't yeah. be don't be scared of rejection. Um, don't expect instant gratification. Yeah. Is a whole big thing right now that is mm-hmm. like it's sickening. Like I got an internship and on my first day, I'ma sit in front of the iHeart sign and take a picture and like make it seem like like this is I listen. Don't get me started, okay? Um, and don't... This is something that I've seen with interns mm-hmm. lately is that, like, just because you do one thing yeah. does not make you employee, employee of the month, month year, yes. week, day. Uh, there are so many things that are going on in everybody's lives and with these companies that, like, you as an intern aren't privy to. Yeah. So because I ask you to do something and you do it wonderfully, it doesn't yeah. mean that I have the time, the wherewithal, the capacity yeah. to, like bow down to you that day but it also does not mean that you didn't do something well i think people expect like the utmost high fucking parade for them when they do one thing it's sick but like i get it but like let's calm down (laughs) um and number three pipe down yeah honestly it's not about you like literally (laughs) um number three never take anything personally Oof, yeah like, I've learned that the hard way. I think that might be a part of number two, though. Like, don't take things personally. Don't other no, people's reactions separate. to things have yeah. like literally nothing to do with you most of the time. Literally, especially as an intern, like nobody could give, give a fuck about me as an intern. Like you yeah. know, like like things like you know they cared about me as a person maybe, but like yeah. whatever. Um, and don't be afraid to like go and get the coffees without complaining. <laughs> Yeah, like you gotta do the intern it's, duties. It's just not. It, people make it seem like, oh, I'm in. Like I want to be learning. You're learning. Yeah, but also the interns that stand out are yeah. the ones who make who are people's willing to do everything. Easier. Yeah, like, to be like, I'll do it. I'll get it done. Absolutely, and it doesn't make you less of a person, person. and it doesn't mean that you're not learning anything. Yeah, be a resource. Yeah, like go and pick up the damn coffee. coffee. <laughs> it's not that serious. If somebody is sitting there and they got a hot cup of like um a hot can soda yeah. and you just know that like you would appreciate it, it, yeah. Do you want me to get it for you real quick? Like yeah. I'm not really doing anything. Like I, you know, yeah, well, never I, say that you're not doing anything. But like I could go and yeah, you know, I can get it done. Like it's not that fa- like I could get, I could do it. I, I personally be like I wouldn't want a uh, a hot <laughs> can yeah. of soda. So like it's okay. You know, like, I'll, I'll I'll do it. It is what it is. Um, yeah, just be happy and appreciative. Don't worry. You're there. Be happy. I love this song. What else? <laughs> I'm weak. No, that's it, girl. Great. Amazing. It's been real. It's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. 
listen, this girl, if y'all ever want to listen to her on the radio, what is it? Z100? <sighs> New York's number one hit music station, Z100. Please catch her on that. And thank you guys for watching or listening wherever you are. Um, we appreciate it. And we are out. See ya. And if you want an internship, hit me up <laughs> at Diamond Sincere and we could chat maybe. And if y'all blow it up, I'm going <laughs> to listen. <laughs> she said it, not me. We are out. Thank you for watching or listening to Dorm Room 101 Pod. And we will see you again soon. <laughs>